A random and violent attack inside a South Fulton grocery store. A witness tells police that a group of teenage girls attacked a Publix employee with pepper spray as she worked. Yeah, on top of that, the witness told police the girls pulled out the mace after they tried to use a stun gun on the employee. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes is live in South Fulton where she spoke to that witness about this disturbing attack. Deidre? Yeah, and that witness described a disturbing scene. She said something seemed off immediately when about a half dozen teenage girls walked into the store. She says they made a beeline for a cashier on duty. One of them tried to attack the young lady with the stun gun, and then when she was unsuccessful, that's when they pulled out the pepper spray. Kalia Smith was picking up a few groceries at around 4 Monday afternoon when she saw a group of teenage girls walk into the Publix on Highway 92 in South Fulton. I noticed about maybe five or six teenage girls, maybe age 16 through 19, um, walk in the store, but they looked like something else was going on, like they had something on their minds. All of a sudden, Smith said she heard a ruckus and saw one of the girls in that group attack a young female cashier who was on duty. And I heard like a stun gun. And then when the stun gun, I guess the cashier was able to grab it. So thank God no one was hurt in that respect. And um, all of a sudden, Everybody started coughing because as a result of her not being successful with the stun gun, the other young lady sprayed, you know, the pepper spray. Public officials wouldn't comment about what happened, but confirmed an incident took place. Smith says it appeared to her the girls meant to continue the attack after the pepper spray assault, but left the store before police arrived. They started walking towards the young lady, the cashier, she walked to the back, and they kind of followed behind her, but I guess in fear of possibly getting arrested, they exited the store. Now, while police wouldn't confirm the witness's account of the attack, they did say that they responded to an incident here at the store. 